hello again so what's up so today i'll share with you an interesting forensic topic about registry so if you're not familiar with registry today you will <laughs> so i'll teach you registry forensics so what actually is a registry hive so think of it like a like a database like a mini file system by itself which contains as you can see here keys which are which shows folders and under it under it there are many subfolders or the term here are sub keys and inside each key or sub key there's actually a value like this one and there's a type each value has a corresponding type either a d word or like this regular SZ and many more and it actually has a data all right so these are these are the key terms to remember when dealing with registry okay moving on so there are mine five main registry hives so the root the hk users hk current user this one is local to each user so later on with the demo you will actually see what what i mean the hk local machine so remember the user a user registry hive is just localized to a user but the global local machine here the settings are global meaning it applies to all users and the hk current config so there are five main key hives under local machine and the hardware uh, the security accounts manager security software system and this is the registry location you have to be familiar with it under system root so this is c windows when you when you encounter this system root this is actually c windows directory 32 config and then the localized or the he current user hive is actually fall under c users then the name of the user and then the user that that okay actually leave here a link for you if you want further info okay these are just some tabulated data regarding those registry hives see here software system sam security default user diff Oh, sorry and these are the critical to know registry locations so for example authorun remember authoruns uh, in the earlier slide think about uh, malware malware persistence so if ever you are always investigating if you are ever reversing a malware you will frequently encounter authoruns okay same with services it's also a persistent mechanism debugging software abuse file download evidence okay dealing with adversary activity even malware especially even this one program execution evidence so okay that's why it's these are tagged as critical to know as a forensic cater then it's also our critical to know file opening evidence right what has been opened by the adversary as you move along the compromised machine delete what has been deleted of course adversary always clean their traces right network history so very useful including the usb storage what accounts has been used and what programs has been installed okay so that's a brief nutshell about red free so in order for us to or for you to absorb it more of course we need a tool to really parse or easily read registry hive and i'll be introducing you to a registry explorer so it's a very cool tool developed by a science instructor named eric zimmerman so definitely this the cool thing about this is it is open source so of course as a disclaimer 
uh, we, you can always use any tool that can parse registry but I'm just presenting to you one of the easiest tool to use which is this one okay it can load multiple hives can do searches uh, decoded string or regex searches and I can even see deleted registry keys it can also handle lock files okay so without further ado let me show you uh -huh. so you could actually download it through eric zimmerman's website here eric zimmerman.github.io and you can see below registry explorer this one so you just need to click on the hyperlink and it will download download that for you okay simply extract it okay just wait for it to complete Give it some time when it's done. Okay, once it's done, we can now open it. It's actually a portable executable, no installation needed. So simply run this. So okay, the the nitty-gritty of this if, if you want to investigate your or this one, your virtual machine high. So you need to run it as administrator, right? So we're gonna we're going to do that. Run it as an administrator. Okay, let me just type. Completed loading, and now we are going to load the hive. So remember, uh, later if you want to load uh, localized hive, so we can do a live system. So notice here we can we can load a localized user hive. For example, I'm using the administrator right now. So we can load its localized user hive here, user and user that that. Simply click on it. And as you can see it already uh, loaded the the user hive of administrator okay so so this is very easy to use you, you you're just uh, think think of it like just an explorer so as you can see here as I mentioned a while ago the keys are like folders and under it are sub keys okay and when you click on a key you can actually see the the value okay the value the value type and the data right so one of the the critical to know in our example if we we'll go back here so for example in the user hive it's critical to know the auto runs so what are the auto runs so for example in, the, in this administrator hive we'll, we'll check the auto runs so that will be microsoft windows okay let's go back that would be Microsoft Windows current version. Oh, please, there seems to be no auto runs here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to explain what auto runs. So, auto runs, these are the persistence mechanism, uh, meaning if it, it, if it is part of an auto run, when the machine reboots, those executable will automatically run after the reboot okay so as a manner of persistence so that's why they are called auto runs okay this is quite a not a good example let's load another hive so this time let's load the so this this one these ones under users the sam security software system these are the local machine hives so they are global settings so let's check the software software local machine hive okay as mentioned it can load multiple hives so we can load one or two or any as much as you like on top of one another side by side 
uploaded the software local machine hive okay let's ch now check oh minimize this let's now check the auto runs here for the local machine so microsoft windows so i'm just scrolling down so that you can see but we can also search it search it here in the search box if we have uh, a specific uh, item or key that we are searching we can directly search here okay uh, just to show you how how to use it from scratch windows then current version current version okay we're already on the last sub key then run okay notice here the auto start and freeze for the global for all users is this, this one Everything.exe and the VMware tools. Meaning when when the when this machine or virtual machine starts, these two will automatically run after reboot. Okay, and you can go back on my on the earlier video and you can actually try to browse all of these on your own. Okay. right so that perhaps this short tutorial hope you learned a lot and thank you so until the next tutorial